you know, I, I think it's important that we start off uh, on a lighter note as far as the, the news and information today. And I kind of wanted to just, I wanted to, to talk about this because it's really fascinating and it's starting to be spread around. Um, and Madam Web is, is of course the next Marvel movie that's coming out. It's tracking pretty low, 25 to 40, I guess. Uh, really, really funny uh, memes and uh, a lot of people having fun at the expense of the Madam Web movie, okay? And uh, this little bit here was pretty interesting. Dakota Johnson, the star, <laughs> the star of the Madam Web movie left her talent agency WME for CAA only a week after the trailer for Madam Web released. Uh, the decision raised industry eyebrows. Okay, so uh, first, first thing, First thing that we, we want to get here is the chat reaction. What do you guys think is going on here? How do you think all of that uh, played out? Because, of course, you know, the, the sort of meme here and the joke is that she either looked at the trailer, <laughs> which, dude, I got to tell you, that first trailer was rough, bro. You guys remember the first uh, Madam Web trailer? Like, bro, it was rough, bro. Like the, uh, you know, my mom, the Amazon studying spiders, like, holy, like, oof, that's a rough one. There was, it was just, it didn't, it didn't look good. You know what I mean? Far worse than I had expected it to look actually, because I mean, the idea of like a Terminator, uh, kind of, um, uh, you know, Spider-Man thing and the web of life and destiny, even Madam Web herself. And look, these are attractive ladies, you know, these are movie stars, uh, could have been really cool. And just the way that it was put together in that trailer was, was pretty awful. So it's possible that she just saw the trailer and was like, yo, what? And you know, like backed, backed off of it. But my conspiracy theory here, and I think a lot of people are kind of on this train. I even heard uh, Aaliyah actually had mentioned that Casey Walsh had said this on Twitter as well, which is kind of funny. The other kind of conspiracy here is that she looked at the backlash and maybe didn't understand it and started to like look into it a little bit more and was kind of told that this is a Sony Spider-Man movie. This is not the MCU, right? So she maybe looked out there and saw all this stuff of like Sony gonna Sony or like, this is why we can't trust Sony and all this stuff. And she's like, wait a minute, I thought this was a Marvel movie. I thought people loved Marvel. Uh, what is happening? Why is this happening? And then maybe she finally understood that like Sony kind of hoodwinked her. Now, I don't know that for sure, but if I'm being honest, it kind of would make sense. I mean, uh, I wonder sometimes does like Sony approach these people and just be like, hey man, we're gonna put you in a Marvel movie and they get this kind of vague idea of what a Marvel movie is and they sign up with enthusiasm thinking they're gonna be a part of this big celebration and this big fun thing uh, that is going on uh, with the Marvel movies and stuff like that right so that could also be what's happening but i gotta tell you this regardless of of what is actually happening here they have a beautiful opportunity here chat okay how many of you have seen the movie uh the the room and uh the disaster artist how many of you guys have uh seen those uh films okay i gotta tell you if they did a version of what they did with the disaster artist and it's all about how dakota johnson got hoodwinked into thinking she was in a marvel movie and making maybe one of the worst most kind of dunked on memed on shit on movies uh that you've ever seen i think they have a brilliant opportunity here that movie and the premise of that sounds more interesting to me than the actual Madam Web movie. I mean, you could literally have it from the point of her agent reaching out and like getting the script and you know, all of her, like talking to her friends and then being on the set as they're kind of like pulling this movie together. And then she like keeps trying to, to try to 
figure out what's happening here all the way up until the trailer comes out and then she has this whole thing with her agency and then uh she leaves the agency and then you know what if after the movie comes out and if it bombs she like goes on this whole big crazy like this is what happened you know blah 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 blah. like i think they should take these lemons and make some lemonade i think this is a brilliant opportunity because you know here's the other thing uh about sony this uh this bit of news here and this whole meme is literally doing better. It's performing better. It's being shared more on social media. It's it's literally bigger than the actual like trying to push this movie. I mean, this movie is almost hilariously bad as far as how it's being marketed, like from the trailer to the goofy ass posters to the weird ass Capri Sun cans to the whole Dakota Johnson, you know, trying to like sort of edge you into going to the film it's uh man it, it's it's been it's been something and so uh yeah no i think they're i think they're missing something i think dakota johnson's next project should literally be the disaster artist version of uh of being a part of this movie and a part of this universe so i kind of wanted to put that out there so that maybe we can manifest it uh T together what what do you think does that sound like a good does that sound like a good would you watch that movie champ is that good this movie breaking a billion its first week man wow what if this movie performs well i i don't know i'd be shocked frankly but mm -hmm. yeah hard skip yeah i mean look i i've said it before but i'm not gonna see this movie i know some of you guys are gonna see this movie but like i'm not gonna see this movie you kidding me it doesn't even have a cringy pointless post credit scene you're rambling josh yeah welcome to the show god damn it flipping the bird welcome to the show that's what we do here uh supporting hot women in film means skipping madam webb i don't know what that means Th those ladies are very attractive but they kind of like made them uglier for the movie which is kind of weird right but uh yeah dakota mike johnson okay that that's gonna do it for this topic chat good job